the secret of eternal youth from Harvard scientists who have developed a chemical cocktail that can reverse aging and return living cells to youth for a week. A worldwide boom of universal humanoid robots, now equipped with artificial intelligence. The world's first 3D printed heart, new space spider robots, and next generation universal delivery robots from Wing. These and other high-tech news in one video. Sensational news came from the world of biotechnology. Scientists from Harvard have developed a chemical cocktail capable of reversing aging, restoring youth to living cells within a week. This method serves as an alternative to gene therapy in combating aging. Its essence lies in reprogramming cells into a younger state through the influence of chemical substances. In doing so, scientists aim to prevent excessive rejuvenation of old cells to minimize associated risks. Researchers analyzed thousands of molecules to achieve their goals and identified six chemical cocktails that restored the entire genome profile to a youthful state in less than a week. If successful in human trials, this method could be revolutionary, allowing rejuvenation through the consumption of just one pill. This is yet another proof that the future has already arrived. If you are partial to four-legged robots, then the new product from Unitree Go2 will definitely break your heart. This nimble little robot has not only mastered entertaining and incredibly cool tricks, but also gained the ability to communicate using GPT chat. True, the robot can't respond in a human-like manner, but this is not typical for real dogs either. However, Go2 understands what you are saying and interprets your speech into a set of commands it can comprehend. If the robot doesn't know how to do something, it will immediately write its own code in real time and execute the command. This, along with its ability to entertain you with tricks and follow you wherever you go, makes the robot a true companion. As for its specifications, GoTo's engines are 30% more powerful than its predecessor, enabling it to maintain an impressive balance and overcome various obstacles. It can also run at speeds ranging from 9 to 12.5 kilometers per hour, depending on the model. Additionally, the robot is equipped with an ultra-wide-angle LiDAR and HD cameras for real-time environment display and orientation. By the way, using its camera, the robot can take your photo, and if you equip it with a robotic arm, it can even bring you water and throw out the trash. The humanoid robot from Sanctuary AI, which has long intrigued us with numerous YouTube videos, has already been tested at the Mark's Clothing retail store in Canada. It is reported that Sanctuary successfully performed various tasks alongside human employees, although the robot was still operated by a human, ensuring that no jobs were affected. In total, the bot successfully executed about 110 different operations. These tests were not entirely successful, as the robot did not carry out tasks independently. The startup aims to create a general-purpose robot, but achieving this without a common artificial intelligence framework is likely challenging. Meanwhile, the Canadian government is investing in its development to keep pace with other countries. The Aquanaut robot finally has a real job. Its creators from Nauticus have secured a contract with the Brazilian company Petrobras, potentially entering the market in South America, estimated at over $100 million. The autonomous robot, with artificial intelligence, will collect data and perform various tasks in deep sea oil fields. Just to recall, the Aquanaut is a fully electric, autonomous underwater vehicle equipped with a set of multispectral perception sensors. These sensors enable the robot to detect, classify, inspect, and interact with underwater infrastructure using a pair of manipulators without direct control from the operator. The robot combines the speed of a conventional underwater vehicle with the agility of a humanoid robot, easily transforming from one form to another. Engineers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have created a robotic heart that can be 3D printed. The soft and flexible model accurately replicates the size and shape of the patient's heart, enabling the adaptation of treatment to the personalized features of the heart's structure and dysfunction. The size and shape of this artificial organ can be customized for each patient through the construction of a three-dimensional computer model. Once the model is ready, the heart is simply printed using a polymer base, resulting in a soft, flexible casing whose precise shape corresponds to the patient's own heart. Similarly, the aorta can also be 3D printed to match the patient's heart. 
The company Wing, specializing in drone delivery services, has introduced autoloaders for its delivery fleet. The autoloader stations are designed to make drone delivery faster and easier. They occupy precisely one parking space and include a small loading mechanism, as well as a space for suspending the order. The main part of the device is located on a pair of long lever arms that allow the drones to hover above them. When the drone is in position, the station transfers the order to the drone's hook, after which it lifts off and departs without human intervention. Autoloaders do not consume energy and do not require a connection for data transmission. The Chinese biotechnology company Insilico Medicine has begun one of the first human trials for a drug discovered and developed using artificial intelligence. The medication has already been administered to a patient for the treatment of a chronic lung condition idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. The company stated that INSO 18055 became the first fully AI-discovered and developed drug to interphase two clinical trials, marking a significant milestone for the industry. Insilico also noted that thanks to the developed artificial intelligence, it can now double the productivity of any major pharmaceutical company. The company uses generative artificial intelligence to swiftly identify new targets for drugs and then to develop new molecules targeted at specific diseases. Interestingly, artificial intelligence also assists in selecting patients who are highly likely to respond to the treatment. POW Robotics has shared the progress of its Tiago robot as part of the LMI program funded by the International Autonomy Support Initiative of the University of York. The program aims to train robots to assist people who are ill or elderly in their homes. To fulfill its mission, Tiago used both speech interaction and object manipulation capabilities to assist users with mild motor and cognitive impairments in preparing food and managing daily life. It is also reported that the robot has been trained to respond properly in emergency situations. The German Artificial Intelligence Research Center has announced the completion of its work on the Guidance, Navigation, and Control System ANT for a walking robot designed for exploring other planets. Final tests confirm the system's capabilities on loose, unstructured, and inclined terrain. To maintain balance, the robot uses visual adaptation, which is based on frequent drift-free pose estimation and the current map. Additionally, the robot adds information about changes in surface structures to the map and assesses the stability of the next support point before using it. It would be interesting to see these robots somewhere on the moon. A group of artificial intelligence researchers from Google and the Technical University of Berlin has unveiled Palmi, a multimodal visual language model with 562 billion parameters that integrates vision and language to control robots. The developers claim it is the largest algorithm of its kind ever created and can perform numerous tasks without the need for retraining. According to Google, when given a high-level command, such as bring me rice chips from the drawer, Palmy can generate an action plan for a mobile robotic platform with a manipulator, which then executes the task without additional human intervention. To achieve this, Palm E analyzes data from the robot's camera, taking into account any dynamic changes. Google researchers claim to have observed several interesting effects apparently linked to the use of a large language model as the core of Palm E. Firstly, there is the so-called positive transfer, meaning the ability to transfer knowledge and skills acquired in performing one task to others. Secondly, according to Palm E engineers, it demonstrates new capabilities, such as multimodal logical reasoning and multifaceted reasoning. Now, Google researchers plan to explore more applications applications, including real-world scenarios such as home automation or industrial robotics. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. See you next time.